it, it is it's a painful exercise. We have a family that is bereaved. We have uh, you know stakeholders that are looking at this process. Uh, but we want to assure everybody, starting with the family, because that's the most important uh, unit that we need to, to support, but also for the public and even um, other stakeholders who are affected by, by these exercises, that this exercise is, is ongoing. We all have one objective, which is to recover uh, this, these two loved ones. Um, the exercise is difficult. I got a briefing myself when I came to understand and they, I was informed about the challenges that have been there, the depth of the channel, it is, I understand, as deep as 50 meters or even more in some places. Um, the divers obviously are human, when they go down they can only do, you know, maybe an hour or so and then they need to come up because of the, of the you know, oxygen requirements and also just the human body, the assets that are being used. Uh, they, the, the, the fact that it's been, it has been raining, there's a lot of mud down there, so therefore visibility is low and so on. So the, slow, the slowness of the process has been contributed to by all these, all these uh, issues. Uh, the fact that also we have an active channel, you know, we need uh, this, the ferry is an important uh, means of transport, so we also need to be able to get people across the channel for their daily, you know, commute and their, uh, the, their operations to continue. This is the shipping channel. Uh, all trade, uh, uh, seaborne trade comes through this channel, so we also need to facilitate that. And so, you know, working with all those um, challenges is what has led to this uh, slow process. But as I said, behind the scenes, there's been a lot of uh, planning. These people, when you look at them, they are tired because they've been on this um, process. Uh, Colonel said he arrived here, I think, within, uh, what, 10 minutes or something of, of, of the incident happening. They sat here overnight. The public doesn't see that side. They plan. The public doesn't see that. But this, these things are happening. So we really want to request the public, the members of the public, the members of the family, and all of us to, to be patient. All effort is being put, and we all really want to see these uh, loved ones um, brought up so that uh, you know, we can, the, the next process can start. So thank you. My name is yeah. That's a bit of a technical question, so maybe let me ask Colonel to, to, to answer. That's why I said for the more technical questions. Thank you for that question. Again, uh, as uh, the leader of uh, the multi agency teams that are uh, uh, conducting these uh, salvage operations, uh, we condo uh, we condole with the families of the bereaved and uh, we are with them uh, in this process. Just as we, uh, uh, Madam PS has said, uh, we are balancing the national interests of this country as well as uh, the interests of the commuters from both sides of uh, the island and the mainland. We have to cross 350,000 people during the peak hours. Uh, the commerce has to pass through. And of course, again, uh, uh, we have the limitations of uh, darkness. But uh, all that said and done, uh, behind uh, you, uh, there's a lot of teams that are working on, uh, working for this uh, operation. We have got uh, four teams. Uh, we've got air teams looking at the uh, uh, magnetic uh, signature of these uh, waters. We have got four sets of electronic uh, equipments uh, that we have deployed to be able to look at uh, how the bottom looks like vis-a-vis uh, -vis how it, uh, it used to be, the way it is surveyed. And therefore, and of course the physical people that we send down uh, to go and confirm uh, those uh, uh, probable areas that we have seen. What we are saying is that, uh, as uh, Madam Pierce has said, We've got 14 uh, probable locations where that uh, vehicle could be. Already we have exhausted five. We are coming from both sides of the channel and therefore we'll meet at the center. These are individual teams. And then we'll join now to clear any doubt. To clear any doubt, we'll be able to join the two teams and then we we'll spread out again so that every area searched by one team is confirmed by the other as one team. This is a very slow and painful process. 
We took you for a ride this morning, all the media houses that are represented here, we took you down so that you can be able to see the equipment that we are using and the state of the visibility that is applying uh, at the moment. And uh, therefore, the, the robot, uh, robotic machines that we are sending, they cannot say, detect any picture because of the, uh, the state of the waters now, the pollution that is uh, uh, prevailing at the moment. And therefore, we are physically sending down people to probe the ground, okay? And because of the depth of the channel, then uh, the time on target is restricted because of the depths. Therefore, not a lot of time can be spent because of the safety of the, those people. Therefore, this operation will continue in the same pace. We will be talking to the ferry management to see what will be the prudent time for us to go in and we'll be giving them after we do our daily debrief for today. And therefore, you expect the shutdown tomorrow. But this shutdown that uh, we are giving is informed by many things, as again is uh, the traffic in the port of Mombasa and again the commuter service. And therefore, when you see every peak hour, we are suspending the operations. But we are working here at night. At night, we are deploying the electronic equipment. Okay? when there's nobody using the channel. So we are working 24-7 to make uh, sure that uh, this process is concluded as fast as is possible. Now, maybe just to add to what he has said. The operation was not halted yesterday. It is you who, re who went away. The operation went on from the time you left until today in the morning. And that is exactly what's going to happen today. But what you said was the divers never to darkness. Sometimes you don't need human beings. There is equipment that is sent underground. They are setting, sending back data, and you analyze that data. And he was here the whole night yesterday. Okay, so the operation will not be halted, despite the fact that the sun will sink. Operation will go on, and we'll be here until the vehicles are brought up and the, the two bodies are recovered. So thank you. We don't have a, a definite timeline, for example. Uh, two days, three days, do we have a definite timeline? We cannot give a definite timeline, but we are working to ensure that this operation is brought to an end as fast and as soon as possible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very thank you. much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.